Okay, good evening. Welcome to the very first video for the new school year. We're going to call these videos Math for Kids. Sound good? Awesome. Awesome. Okay, we're going to try to do two problems out of, um, out of our uh, Olympiad book. Every day I'm going to make up ones that are similar to the ones in the book, and um, then uh, those of the book problems will be the homework. Okay, let's go. Math for Kids, video number one, problem number one. You ready? Suppose today is Sunday. What? It is Sunday. It is Sunday. What day of the week will it be 61 days from now? Do you want a marker? Mm -hmm. Actually, I, don't, I didn't check if that marker works, but that's fine. Okay, good. All right, go ahead. What do you think? Do you know how to solve this problem? Mm. Well, we know that one week, one, one week from Sunday, is going to equal Sunday. Okay. So one week from Sunday. Well, two weeks. Well, well, nine weeks. Nine weeks is going to also equal a Sunday. Except nine weeks we've gone too far. That's 63 days. Okay, nine weeks is 63 days, okay. So we have to minus, minus two days. Okay. So, so minus, uh, nine weeks is 63 days. So that means that, well, so, so that, so if we minus one day, it's going to be Saturday. Saturday. And if we minus another day, Friday. Okay, good job. So, we looked at this and we said 61 days from now, but the only thing we know, the easy thing we know about counting days is we count by weeks. So, seven days from now is Sunday, that's one week. Yeah. Nine weeks from now will also be Sunday, which yeah, will be 63 days. Yeah, because seven times nine. Seven times nine is 63, and then we just count back two, and we get? And we get 61. Okay, awesome. All right, you ready for the next problem? Of course. Okay, here's problem number two. Suppose you have three dimes and two quarters. How many different amounts of money can you make using at least one of your coins? Okay? Do you uh, understand the problem? Yeah. Okay, tell me about it. Well, we have three dimes and two quarters. Okay. We need to find out how many different amounts of money we can make using at least one of the coins. At least one of the coins, yeah. Okay, well, how do you want to start? I'm going to make a dimes column. Okay. I'm just going to write D for dimes. Okay. So, so, so we know that, well, if we have one dime, we... That, that, that's one amount of postage, one dime. No, that's not postage, it's um, oh, yeah. money. Right. Yeah. So that's, that, that's one amount we can make. Okay. And then two dimes is two. So we know there's at least five because four and five are for the quarters. Okay. Make a chart just for the dimes. That's the first step on a problem like this. Oh, just for the dimes? Yeah. Here, where did I put that eraser? Okay, so here's, let's make a chart that looks like this. So dimes, and then quarters. Okay. Now, the tricky thing on a problem like this. I wanted to make one of these, but I can't draw these very well. Okay. Well, that's all right. That's why I'm helping. The tricky thing is... <coughs> How many, what are the different amounts of dimes you might have to use? Well, one, two, or three, or zero. One, two, or three, or zero. So what, so here, here's the number of dimes in this, in, in, in these boxes. So why don't you write, what do you want to write in those boxes? I'm just going to slide my chair a little closer. Okay. Well, I'm going to write one in this box. One dime. Okay. Well, I can write ten cents. Well, write write one dime. 
I'm just gonna write one, one. D. Okay. Two. Two D. Two D's. Yeah. Three D's. We can't do four D's. No. But what was the important thing I, I I asked you? What are the different amounts of dimes you can use? We can use one dime, two dimes, three dimes. What? I'm gonna, what, what is this up here? Well, that's not supposed to be anything. When you want to put the zero down here? Yeah. Zero is an important one. Zero, zero dimes. dimes. Okay. And now for the quarters. How many different, what are the different amounts of quarters you can so use? So is that the quarter column? No, it's starting, starting here. How many different amounts of quarters can you use? Well, st starting, starting with this, these boxes? This one up here. How many different amounts of quarters can you use? You can use... One. One quarter. Okay. No, 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 no. Over here. Across this oh. way. Here. <coughs> Two quarters. Yeah. And then we can... And we can use zero... Zero quarters. Okay. So let's fill this in really quick. So this box here would be one dime and one quarter. How much money is that? That is 35 cents. Okay, I'll, I'll write it to go fast. 35 cents. One quarter and two dimes. Well, that is 45. One quarter and three dimes. 55. One quarter and zero dimes. And that's just 25. 25. Okay. Here, why don't you back up a little bit? Or just jump. I don't want to go. You fall off. <laughs> All right, two quarters, one dime. What's that? Two quarters and a dime is is sixty cents. Sixty. Two quarters, two dimes. Seventy. Seventy. Two quarters, three dimes. Eighty. Two quarters, zero dimes. Fifty. Zero quarters, one dime. Ten cents. All right, you want to write the rest in this column? Zero quarters, two dimes. Twenty. Zero quarters, three dimes. Three. Zero quarters, zero dimes. Zero. Okay, so what was the question that we were trying to solve? Well, how many different amounts of money can you make using at least one of your coins? Okay. Well, that's three, six, nine, twelve, except we have to scribble out the zero. Why do you have to scribble out the zero? Because it said using at least one of your coins. Okay, now the one, last thing you have to check with these 11 numbers is that they're all different. Because if, if like this one was the same as this one. Which is not. Okay, so are they all different? Yep. Okay, how do you know the ones in this column are different than the ones in, over here? Well, these are fives and these are zeros. Okay, and how do you know none of these two are the same in those columns? Well, it's because they're all 10 apart. Okay. All right. What's the homework problem? Okay, well, what's the answer? The answer... How many different amounts of money can you make? Eleven. Eleven. Okay, very good. All right, so it's Olympiad 1, problem number 1, and problem number 2. Awesome. So let me write it here. Olympiad 1. Problem 1. And problem... Okay, that'll be your homework for tomorrow. Awesome. Okay, great job. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Kids, Math for Kids video number one. Hopefully we'll get through the whole book by the end of the school year. Awesome.